Oh, hey, have I got a script for you. This thing is grade A pure gold. It's like Return of the Living Dead meets Bridges of Madison County, only better. Close your eyes and picture this. A top secret military aircraft carrying top secret cargo fucking explodes in midair after an engine malfunction. And the debris rains down over a secluded wheat farm in the middle of nowhere. What's this top secret cargo, you ask? Dead soldiers that have been reanimated into zombie super soldiers. The echoing explosion wakes up the missus, and she's like, Oh, honey, what was that? You need to go outside. I'll check it out. But that's a bad idea, because our super soldier zombies are ready for war. Ah, the zombies in my fucking field. This farmer is now the last line of defense to prevent a global, 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 zombie, 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 outbreak, outbreak, outbreak. Run! I'll take care of this shit! It's the middle of middle America. Zombies on the doorstep. Our farmers got like mysterious containers to shoot up. Let's call them mutation stations. It's a foggy night, and the- uh, Make it a clear night. The lens flares will look much better. Yeah, I love it. Your cinematic signature is gonna be all over this. Mutation stations would have glass capsules filled with zombie-making goo. I can just imagine our hero busting open that glass with some bullets. Ah! It's so fucking badass. to deal with more zombies. Mm, we need a set piece here. It's not a shed, it's where they store gas. Yeah, that is the kind of mainstreamness that this idea needs. Our heroes at the flaming wreckage. <gasps> What's that? It's a zombie with its skull opened, brain exposed, and it's leaking toxic goo. Hmm, that's gross. <laughs> you want me to explain what happens when our hero headshots him? <laughs> nah, I'm good.
in the woods. The mysterious goo is making dead dogs come back to life. No. Audiences will not like the idea of dead dogs. Did I say dead dogs? I mean, I mean like zombie wolves. And then our hero finds a super shotgun. I think of the boomstick from Army of Darkness, but like with more boom. Zombie, you get a zombie, you get a zombie, everybody get zombies! Extraterrestrials. Yeah, so so I know you did similar stuff in that TV show, but imagine it was done better. I won awards for that show. And you lost a bunch. Hmm. Know what? I'm gonna pass. Your idea was pretty basic. I'm the one responsible for the pizzazz. <laughs> Come on! First off, huge fan of your award-winning character-driven war movies. Thanks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How about making one that's so intense it'll give the audience PTSD? Get ready for the best elevator pitch ever given in an elevator. Picture this. An elite spec ops team. They're fucking lighting up the undead on a dilapidated bridge. They're isolated, surrounded by water, but they give no fucks because they're the best. Yeah, we fucking rock! Eat shit, zombie scum! Killing zombies? Yeah, they can do that all day. With the right support, of course. But sometimes, support fucks up. Supporting. Oops. You guys dropped us on the wrong side! I'll send my guys ahead! We're gonna need ammo! What happens when the bullets run dry and mission annihilation turns into mission survival I Zation. Only way we're gonna live is by surviving! Hmm, a war where the enemy's already dead. That's half interesting. 
Our hero has to get to the ammo drop. Or else they die and become the enemy. Okay, okay. Yeah, I'm seeing this. Imagine the 405 and the 101 fucked each other. This bridge would be the offspring. So it's moving backwards. Our hero goes by the corpse of a squad mate. Next to him is a sweet ass weapon! You're focusing on the weapon and not the fallen comrade? Oh, our hero knew this guy would be the first to go. So the heroes at the source of the zombie outbreak. No humans around, right? No dialogue, just a zombie massacre. Just a zombie massacre? <laughs> There's these mutation stations and goo and mayhem. A gas truck leaves gas, and now it's a road of fire, baby! But what does this mean to the hero? The, the fire represents the, the, their anger issues. It's, instead of dealing with it, they're, they're avoiding it? Okay. Okay, so then there's a flipped train. <gasps> Wait a minute! It's a, it's a fucking flipped gas tanker! <laughs> the, the explosion will make people shit themselves! Is there a way to show something about the main character? We are! They know how to explode things.
Joe's got to find a way down. If you were to put the story beats on a graph, this would be the low point in the movie and <laughs> the bridge. In my career. You say something? Nope. Hero finds themselves with literally nowhere to go. Literally. Maybe we can hear the hero's inner monologue. There's despair, loss. Or they can just use a cool grappling hook! First off, huge fan! Our hero has to get to the ammo drop. Or else they die and become the enemy. Okay, okay, yeah, I'm seeing this. Imagine the 405 and the 101 fucked each other. This bridge would be the offspring. So it's moving backwards. So our hero goes by the corpse of a squad mate. Next to him is a sweet ass weapon! You're focusing on the weapon and not the fallen comrade? Oh, our hero knew this guy would be the first to go. at the source of the zombie outbreak. No humans around, right? No dialogue, just a zombie massacre. Just a zombie massacre? <laughs> There's these mutation stations and goo and mayhem. Gas truck leaks gas, and now it's a road of fire, baby! But what does this mean to the hero? Uh, ah! The fire represents th th their anger issues. Instead of dealing with it, they're they're avoiding it. Okay. Okay, so 
So then, there's a flipped train. <gasps> Wait a minute! It's, it's a fucking flipped gas tanker! <laughs> the, the explosion will make people shit themselves! Is there a way to show something about the main character? We are! They know how to explode things. Hero's got to find a way down. If you were to put the story beats on a graph, this would be the low point in the movie and haha, the bridge. In my career. You say something? <gasps> nope. Now, the hero finds themselves with literally nowhere to go. Literally. Maybe we can hear the hero's inner monologue. There's despair, loss. Or they can just use a cool grappling hook. Maybe the cage can remind the hero of their time as a prisoner of war. Sure, and the zombies here represent, I, I, I don't know, the, the, the people they saw die. Interesting. for me. I want everyone in the world to have a home and a shelf filled with Blu-rays of all the movies I make.
then the main character gets to the ammo drop, and there's da -da -da -da! <laughs> a new gun! One more character? How about a fucking zombie Sasquatch character? Boom! Plot twist! In your bite your face, zombie! The Sasquatch is fucking toast! That's cool, right? It ends on a duel with a monster. No! Our hero sees a way out! Explosion here, explosion there! The hero sees a checkpoint. It's the end. Or is it? Ba -ba -da 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 -da. What does our hero find at the end? Another soldier who sees our hero as just another zombie. Bam! Headshot! Roll credits. I'm gonna pass. Seems heavy on the action and light on character development. Speaking of development, huh? How about a development deal? How about you leave now and I won't press charges?
Listen, I know you're the number one chick flick director in Hollywood. I think of them as sprawling romantic epics. You need to branch out. I got an epic supernatural love story for you. Picture this. We rip off Romeo and Juliet and set it in a zombie-filled world. Huh, that's halfway original. Romeo's gang is turbo-pissed and grabs him. They put him in a coffin. They're gonna bury him alive, not because he banged the enemy, but because he fell in love. Romeo's gonna die and turn into a limp dick zombie. The ultimate punishment. Juliet's like, fuck it, that shit. I'm going to waste it anyone who gets betwixt Romeo and my loins. So, Juliet has to fight her way through the graveyard. Because Romeo is being buried alive by his own gang. I got it. Yeah, the whole thing is gonna be set in this big, spooky-ass graveyard. The supernatural love stories always seem so silly to me. That's no laughs here. Look, this thing has brain-thirsty zombies trying to eat Juliet. Then, Juliet goes down to a crypt that connects to the sewers. What does this have to do with Romeo and Juliet's story? <laughs> oh, it is important. Yeah, it's their romantic hideaway. They do each other down there sometimes. You know, pokey pokey. So how's that for character building? An oasis from the chaos above. I can see it. Graveyard's like a perfect place for my Hitchcock-style cameo. It'll be a statue. That's an expensive cameo. How can you put a price on art?
Pirates! They throw pus and have jacked up arms. Basically my agent. So then, Juliet sees something on the other side of the fence. I thought this was a race against the clock. I'm thinking if Juliet walks around and explores it, it's, it's okay, you know, because her and Romeo bumped uglies all over the graveyard. So this place is special. Then, Juliet picks up a pictured weapon! Maybe the weapon has meaning to the couple? Oh, it does. It is the first gift our Romeo gave to Juliet. I guess, to some parts of America, the gift of a weapon can be sweet. stations. An evil corporation made you that reanimates the dead. How is that for pizzazz? To me, fluff like this really distracts from what's really just a simple story of two people. I'm trying to make the whole two lovers against all odds thing more against all odds -y.
thing standing yeah. between the lovers is a church. Let me guess. Juliet has to climb over it using her superpowers. Nice idea, but I want it to be more grounded in reality. There'd be scaffolding all around the church. Lover's coffin and the gang trying to bury him. Let me guess. She has to kill them all. Exactly! We are totally on the same wavelength, my man! like, I'm gonna kill the hero! from a fate worse than undeath. She opens the coffin and, ha! M. Night Shyamalan, baby! Romeo is a mashup of all the monsters you can think of. The, the, the dude's ugly as fuck, but love conquers all. Ha <laughs> ha! This story can only come from the mind of an old virgin. Whoa, 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 whoa. I am a lot of things, but I ain't no virgin, and I'm not old. I just don't snore Botox every day like you. Oh, look. Security's here. Ah! I was just about to leave, asshole. Look, standard action movies aren't cool anymore. Who are you? Get off my yacht. You and I should make a brand where movies, books, musicals, clothing, mouthwash, you name it, are all connected in a cool way. Security will be here in a minute. That's all I need. It's the Guy Marvelous Cinematic Universe, and it all starts with one movie. Picture this. It's the year 2080. The world as we know it has been completely overrun by the living dead. Civilization has taken to the skies for all the remains below. So, our heroes gotta fight off like a million zombies. A million? While the chopper's swinging back around. Yeah! Uh
feel this lacks the courage to say anything about any real problems. The real problem I'm addressing is entertainment. Think about it. Picturing it correctly, it's just carnage. What are you trying to say here? You have a message? Yeah, my message is, hey audience, thanks for the catch. Look at this cool shit and forget about your worthless life for two hours. All right, that's enough zombies. What's next? What's next? A fucking high-powered machine gun? Maybe you can say something about guns. I am, I'm gonna say no other movie has ever made shooting up zombies look this fucking cool. Hot order of zombies coming up! Because of copyright? Fucking lawyers can't let you do anything these days! Guessing something happens here. Come on, fucking boom! So after the machine gun, the chopper lands. No, 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 not yet. I can't land. The radar's picking up something heading your way. And then, just when we think things can't get any worse, up from the air vents come zombie wolverines. You know, you could address the polarizing nature of climate change. No, 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 no. What I am doing here is setting up the third sequel, The Rise of the Wolverine King. <laughs> and then I want, I want to like do this pyrotechnics for the sequence. So that, like, let's give the hero a flamethrower, like all-American, lycanthropic barbecue, baby. Finished with the Wolverines and the Chopper lands, right? 
Oh shit! You got more hostiles inbound! Seriously? More? It's the Vulturess! Our rooftop gang! I mean, since there's no zombies around, they blame our hero for the massacre! He killed her people! Waste them! Kill the chosen uh, one! I'm sorry, what now? See, our hero is the chosen one. And that's gonna pay off in like a six spin-off slash sequel. The Age of the Chosen Ones. Civil War, part one. hops on and flies off to the sequel. You're ending this on a sequel? There is more! The Guy Marvelous Cinematic Universe has like 50, 60 years worth of movies. Easy. I got outlines. I'll pass. At this point in my career, I want to do something with more substance. Come on! You're telling me that cool isn't a substance. I'm telling you to start swimming. You're not my driver. Uh, yeah, hi there. I'm Guy Marvel. And first off, it, it is an honor to be pitching to an award-winning visionary director. <sighs> it's another nobody with an idea. Picture this. It's a national park. It's peaceful, serene, yet yeah, like your typical normal day. We follow a good old American family. The hero should be a park ranger. But it, it, it's about a family. So you're just gonna tell me your idea, and I'm supposed to shut up? Uh, you know, we, we can make it about a park ranger. Yeah, that, that's fine. This, though, look, it's all about the message. Climate change. A heat wave thaws out a strange ooze. It's tanked in rivers, the soil, the animals, you name it. After decades of Mother Nature getting royally fucked, she is giving birth to zombies! Ugh. This is one of those movies. <sighs> Damn right it's one of those movies. It's gonna add a couple extra commas in our bank accounts, huh? Fine. I'll entertain the idea of doing lowbrow garbage. So our park ranger hears the distant scream of a family. <coughs> He's gotta go check on him, right? Okay, so we start in the park ranger's tower. I have a better idea. What if the main character was the owner of a bar? You see, zombies consume the life essence of the living, but they don't live themselves. I'm seeing a place where they can relax. They're zombies. I, I think you're giving them a bit more brain function than they actually have. Even the smallest creature with the smallest brain can appreciate art. Uh, W.T. Fuck, dude! This is a zombie movie about, about the environment. Can I just walk you through my idea? Nobody really owns ideas, but fine. On with it. Okay, so we're this park ranger, and we come down from our tower. Uh, you said something interesting there. The park ranger had to come down from his tower. Have you ever read my manifesto? I, I bought it, but look, I haven't finished it yet. Been busy, you know, life. Hero decided to take the longer, safer footpath to the cabin. Typical American. Choose to stay safe. Don't waste your time with any challenges. It's just a path. In the park, there's this cool zipline thing. Uh, only in America would things like this be fun. 
They are ridiculous and stupid. Ah, just forget I said anything. Hero sees the toxic goop seeping through the rocks and <laughs> love the visual. It's so pedestrian. It's what I'd expect an art student to come up with. <laughs> So, our hero takes the shortcut to the cabin. Of course. The good old American way. Take a shortcut. This way ain't easy. There's some awesome climbing. Okay, so we start in the park ranger's tower. I have a better idea. What if the main character was the owner of a bar? You see, the zombies consume the life essence of the living, but they don't live themselves. I'm seeing a place where they can relax. They're zombies. I, I think you're giving them a bit more brain function than they actually have. Even the smallest creature with the smallest brain can appreciate art. Uh, W.T. Fuck, dude! This is a zombie movie about, about the environment. Can I just walk you through my idea? Nobody really owns ideas, but fine. On with it. Okay, so we're this park ranger, and we come down from our tower. Hey, you said something interesting there. The park ranger had to come down from his tower. Have you ever read my manifesto? I, I bought it, but look, I haven't finished it yet. Been busy, you know, life.
so, our hero takes the shortcut to the cabin. Of course. The good old American way. Take a shortcut. This way ain't easy. There's some awesome climbing. And then our hero sees the toxic goop seeping through the rocks and... I love the visual. It's so pedestrian. It's what I'd expect an art student to come up with. Okay, so we start in the park ranger's tower. I have a better idea. What if the main character was the owner of a bar? See, zombies consume the life essence of the living, but they don't live themselves. I'm seeing a place where they can relax. They're zombies. I, I think you're giving them a bit more brain function than they actually have. Even the smallest creature with the smallest brain can appreciate art. Uh, W.T. Fuck, dude! This is a zombie movie about, about the environment. Can I just walk you through my idea? Nobody really owns ideas, but fine. On with it. Okay, so we're this park ranger, and we come down from our tower. You said something interesting there. The park ranger had to come down from his tower. Have you ever read my manifesto? I, I bought it, but I haven't finished it yet. Been busy, you know, life. So, our hero takes the shortcut to the cabin. Of course. The good old American way. Take a shortcut. This way ain't easy. There's some awesome climbing. And then our uh -huh. hero sees the toxic goop seeping through the rocks and... I <laughs> love the visual. It's so pedestrian. It's what I'd expect an art student to come up with. <laughs> I think this story would be better told at night. No, man, it's gotta be during the day. The audience has to actually see the environment. This whole movie is a message on the environment. 
but the darkness at night is more ominous. I want it to be set during the day. Night. Day! Night! I'm gonna just have to put my foot down! This whole movie takes place over the course of one day! Got it? That is it! Fine. We cross paths with a zombie bear! I'm not surprised by that. Uh, not supposed to be a surprise. Okay, so we start in the park ranger's tower. I have a better idea. What if the... Main character was the owner of a bar. You see, the zombies consume the life essence of the living, but they don't live themselves. I'm seeing a place where they can relax. They're zombies. I, I think you're giving them a bit more brain function than they actually have. Even the smallest creature with the smallest brain can appreciate art. Uh, WT fuck, dude. This is a zombie movie about, about the environment. Can I just walk you through my idea? Nobody really owns ideas, but fine. On with it. Okay, so we're this park ranger, and we come down from our tower. You said something interesting there. The park ranger had to come down from his tower. Have you ever read my manifesto? I, I bought it, but look, I haven't finished it yet. Been busy, you know, life. <laughs> So, our hero takes the shortcut to the cabin. Of course. The good old American way. Take a shortcut. This way ain't easy. There's some awesome climbing. And then our hero sees the toxic goop seeping through the rocks and... <laughs> Love the visual. It's so pedestrian. It's what I'd expect an art student to come up with. <laughs> I think this story would be better told at night. No, man, it's gotta be during the day. The audience has to actually see the environment. This whole movie is a message on the environment. But the darkness at night is more ominous. I want it to be set during the day. Night. Day. Night. I'm gonna just have to put my foot down. This whole movie takes place over the course of one day. Got it? That is it! Fine! And then, we cross paths with a zombie bear! I'm not surprised by that. Was it supposed to be a surprise?
Here it is. Near the house, the ranger sees the source of the problem. It is the toxic goo. It's infected the fresh water and created zombies. I like what we've built so far, but now I'm not really seeing the whole goo thing. I think if we crop out all of your ideas, we have something. I think we can take this idea and merge it with the ideas in my artistic manifesto. Maybe even show my book. What? Whatever, man. Fine. Remember that family? Yeah, well, they're dead. I thought we got that plot line. I'm done! We done? I think there's more we can do with the ending. What ending are you envisioning? Uh, whatever. And by now in the film, it's night. Ah, why? It's foreshadowing <laughs> impending doom. You want doom? How about adding a fucking blood dragon here to fuck them the fuck up? <laughs> we put some fucking firepower there. in a car. He's in the car driving toward... I don't fucking know. You hijacked my idea and, and made it a masterpiece of shit! And you're the most annoying person I've ever met. I might be annoying, but at least I made it in Hollywood. Fuck you! You, you fucking fuck! I'm gonna make it, asshole! Security! Get me away from this fuck face!
pizza, it's a pizza! Uh, I didn't order a pizza. You didn't order a movie pitch, but I brought you one anyway. Picture this. We're in paradise. I mean, like, what could be better than a brewski and a babe on a sunny beach? Ugh, I don't feel so good. I think I had too much to drink. Ah, you're a zombie! Smash! What's going on? Whoa. I'm, like, infected. Now, I forgot to tell you, our dude bro hero is the best fucking chemist in the world. He's got, like, Nobel Prizes and shit. He's got to get to his lab at the hospital. It's a race against the clock. I can make the cure or eat brains. This is bonkers, but I'm hooked. We start at the beach. Our hero doesn't have that much time to get to their lab. Much time? The hero should have practically no time. Oh, no, yeah, sure. Uh, whatever. Uh, the hero has to go through a trailer park in flames. I like that it's not a typical zombie setting. Uh, I don't know. I... Yeah, maybe with all this action, the, the critics won't like it. Fuck them. We should only care about the audience. Reviews mean shit. It's butts in the seats. <gasps> A shitty car. Come on, don't keep out on a race against the clock. Give me a real car. You seem to have lost some steam. You're right. Look, I. The last person I pitched to really fucked with my head. It's got me thinking about giving up the dream. Ah, you met a monster. Next time anyone acts like a monster to you, become the bigger monster. You're right. All his ideas sucked. Fuck that guy. What's the drive up to the lab like? Car wreckage everywhere. Perfect for a thrill ride. And there's these big mutated zombies. Behemoths. The hero should avoid them. The clock's ticking. Yeah, every second counts. If the main character hits them, they'll explode. moment here. Uh, how about a construction site? Our hero hits the jump and wham! There's an explosion! What caused it? We don't have time to say! So then, our hero sees the mutation stations filled with the gooey shit that's turning people into zombies. Where are these things from? A countryless evil oh. corporation. That's a smart move. This way, no country or people are made out to be the villains. The hero's starting to turn into a zombie. And so the driving sequence is done. There's a roadblock. Time's ticking away. And you'll have to go the rest of the way on foot. Uh-oh! There's soldiers protecting the hospital! And they see our hero as just another zombie. Yeah, they don't know that he has the zombie cure in his brain.
point, the main character's on the edge of being a zombie. <laughs> left until he's full zombie. He makes the cure, stops the zombie outbreak, and huh? remember that girl? He brings her back. He's able to turn all the zombies back into humans. Even the zombies he shot blew up or ran over. Fuck yeah. Total happy ending. Brilliant. It'll need a polish, but I want to direct this. That day changed my career. My first screen credit and paycheck. Our mutual friend said we should meet, so we're meeting. Sir, I have to say, it is an honor to be pitching to the king of the monster movies. You done kissing my ass, or should I book us a room? Come on, kid, give me the pitch. Picture this. A top secret lab. Alarms are blaring. Something's gone wrong. Blood splatter here and there. Stop. All over the walls. Chaos. But we don't see anybody or anything. Just shadows. We smash cut to a red phone. It's ringing on a nightstand. Our hero's gonna pick it up. Yeah, she's a badass woman in a quiet suburban house. Yes, Mrs. President? Shit, our hero's so important that she has a direct line to the president? The president goes, there's been an incident at a secret lab. If it gets worse, the world will end. Our hero says, on it. You got me hooked so far, kid. Everything our badass hero needs is at the drop point. Including a gun, ammo, and a sweet jet ski provided by the US of A. I fucking love jet skis in movies. Along the way, our hero follows these big industrial pipes that are leaking this uh, zombie making goo. Are leaking zombie making goo. Oh, that is deep political commentary for you. I love it. Our hero gets near two lovers in the moonlight, having a little dip. Zombie bear attack! So then, we'd see uh, a weird moose. No, wait, it's a zombie, zombie moose. moose. Thank you. 
two words for you. Zombie, Zombie wolves! Bye-bye! We can amp it up and hint what we're gonna see at the secret lab. Right, 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 right. And, and uh, there's a there's a container and goo is leaking out of it. And a bunch of hunters who were camping there are now zombies. Hero walks by a small tent. The fire's still going, but there's no sign of a camper, except a trail of blood. Our hero gets close to zombie bees. No, 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 no. You gotta call them what they are. Zombies. Huh? Oh, fuck! Oh, that! Oh, that is some, some Shakespeare poetry right there! Our hero goes into this bunker and finds two preppers. One of them zombied out and and is eating the other. <laughs> I bet that seat will be in the trailer.
following the trail of blood, we find a zombie moose going to town on this camper. Oh yeah, I love it. Those things are fucking huge. And now, our hero sees they're almost at the base. The anticipation is killing me! Everything da, 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 has been bad building da, 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 up to this moment! There's a crash chop in there, right? Of course. No survivors. Hero sees blood and guts. No, it should be R rated blood and guts. <laughs> what about unrated, vomit inducing, burned in theaters, blood and guts for the Blu ray? <laughs> Obstacle. All right, so far, we've got our hero guns blazing the hell out of everything. Huh. So they, they just have to find a way out. Okay, okay. So, so then we see a zombie wolf just going down on someone. I'm talking all-you-can-eat zombie buffet. Okay, we need a big scare here. Perfect time for a zombie! Our mutual friend said we should meet, so we're meeting. Sir, everything our badass hero needs is at the drop point. Including a gun, ammo, and a sweet jet ski provided by the US of A. I fucking love jet skis in movies. Along the way, our hero follows these big industrial pipes that are leaking this uh, zombie making goo. -hoo. Our hero gets near two lovers in the moonlight, having a little dip. Zombie bear attack! So then, we'd see uh, a weird moose. No, wait, it's a zombie, zombie moose. moose. We can 
ramp it up and hint what we're gonna see at the secret lab. Right, 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 right. And, and uh, there's a there's a container and goo is leaking out of it. Yeah, a bunch of hunters who were camping there are now zombies. Hero goes into this bunker and finds two preppers, one of them zombied out and and is eating the other. <laughs> oh, I bet that scene will be in the trailer. Hero sees they're almost at the base. The anticipation is killing me. Everything da, na, na, has been bad. Building da, na, na, up to this moment. There's a crash chopper there, right? Of course, no survivors. Our hero sees blood and guts. No, it should be R-rated blood and guts. <laughs> what about unrated 
vomit-inducing, banned in theaters, blood and guts for the Blu-ray. You know what we need here? An obstacle. All right, so far, we've got our hero guns blazing the hell out of everything. So they, they just have to find a way out. Okay, okay. So, so then we see a zombie wolf just going to town on someone. I'm talking all-you-can-eat zombie buffet. Okay, we need a big scare here. Perfect time for a behemoth zombie. Our hero walks into a room that's for experiments. Oh, yes, I love it. We had the mystery at the start. Now we're paying it off. This company is doing some seriously fucked up shit. It's, it's a secret underground lab, right? Uh, we should feel trapped. Uh, uh, what's that word? Uh, uh, Kleptophobic? Claustrophobic. Everything our badass hero needs is at the drop point. Including a gun, ammo, and a sweet jet ski provided by the US of A. I fucking love jet skis in movies. Along the way, our hero follows these big industrial pipes that are leaking this uh, zombie making goo. Our hero gets near two lovers in the moonlight, having a little dip. Zombie bear attack! So then, we'd see uh, a weird moose. No, wait, it's a zombie, zombie moose. moose.
gets close to zombie bees. No, 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 no. You gotta call them what they are. Zombies. Huh? Oh, fuck. Oh, that. Oh, that is some, some Shakespeare poetry right there. And now, our hero sees they're almost at the base. The anticipation is killing me! Everything da, na, na, has been banana na, building da, na, na, up to this moment! There's a crash chopper there, right? Of course. No survivors. sees blood and guts. No, it should be R-rated blood and guts. <laughs> what about unrated, vomit-inducing, burned in theaters, blood and guts for the Blu-ray? <laughs> no, we need here an obstacle. All right, so far we've got our hero guns. <laughs> So they, they just have to find a way out. Okay, we need a big scare here. Perfect time for a behemoth zombie! walks into a room that's for experiments. Oh, yes, I love it. We had the mystery at the start. Now we're paying it off. This company is doing some seriously fucked up shit. It's, it's a secret underground lab, right? Uh, we should... Uh, uh, what's that word? Uh, uh, kleptophobic? Claustrophobic. finds a locker room filled with blood. We're getting close to the finale, kid. Make it a weapons locker.
this. A mutation station right in the middle of the room. No dialogue needed here. Fuck, I love that there isn't much dialogue in this movie. It's just this badass character solving a mystery and kicking ass. hero gets to the edge and says I guess no good deed goes unpunished and plunges down below our hero sees the source of the zombie making goo and she's gotta blow that shit up uh huh she is willing to make the ultimate sacrifice through the fire and smoke we see our hero yeah nothing can stop this badass woman our hero goes home after a long night of saving the world, and just as her eyes close, the bedroom door opens. It's her kid. Good morning, Mommy. Our hero smiles. It's fucking beautiful. I love the message, the character, the emotion, the everything. This is gonna be an award-winning franchise, kid. The budget for a movie like this is huge, and you've never directed before, right? I made video games. Worthless. Yeah, what about directing something as a tryout? Yeah, I'm down for that. The first director ran off with a cult. So, how do you feel about Montana? 